Hey guys, Sprout here, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. I know I am. And today's Warzone mobile video, a new speculation video for you all, where I'm going to talk about will Warzone mobile have an MP mode or will it just be pure battle royale? Now I'm going to go for points for and points against this actually happening. Still is a massive hero. If you like the video, make sure you subscribe. And hopefully, sometime in the future, Wars on Mobile devs be like, that guy's doing a lot on the game, let's contact him, maybe he's given some leaks and I might be able to show you all. You never know what the future holds, so make sure you hit them two buttons. Let's get straight into it. So, if you've been living under a rock for the past two years, I'll let you know that Warzone is a counterpart of Modern Warfare slash Vanguard, out for PC and consoles. Now, originally, Warzone was a standalone. In fact, it still is. You don't have to have Modern Warfare to play it. It's still free to play, and you can download just Warzone. But if you have both games, obviously, they interline with each other, and you can sort of progress the battle pass and stuff with both. So, Warzone Mobile is actually coming, and... A lot of questions on a lot of people's minds, you know, how is it going to play out, how is it going to release, when is it going to release, I would love to know that question. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go through some positives and negatives of if the game had a multiplayer mode and, you know, is it going to be a good thing or not if it did. So, let's first of all start off with the pros, the four points, you know, the things that might be good if it did happen. Now, first of all, there'll be a hell of a lot more to do. Now, think about it, guys. If you play Warzone and you play Modern Warfare, you're sick of the Battle Royale. Yet you just want a break of dropping in these places. You just want to run around on a small map and shoot people. You can. There will be, you know, team deathmatch, um, kill count. I can't remember all the modes on that specific Modern Warfare because I haven't had it installed in a while. But I do have it. But there'll just be a great deal more to do on the game. You know, once you get sick of it, you can go do something else for a bit. As well, guys, another thing that I want to uh, sort of throw out there. Warzone itself doesn't have any ranks, right? You, you, it's always public matches. You can run into absolutely anybody. You could run into the top player in the world in a match. And you could be the crappest. You know what I mean? You can just run into absolutely anybody. So, the multiplayer side of things does have ranks and you can climb the ranks and you can get better and stuff imagine if it would have the rank grind to separate you know the comp players would have something to do you know the, the competitive players i want to claim the ranks etc and another thing if you're familiar with warzone you do have to level up your weapons to unlock the attachments for them and unless you find the weapon or you manage to get your load out during a Warzone match, you don't really get a chance to use it, but on multiplayer you can use it as much as you want. Go on the small maps, get loads of kills, level up your weapons really fast. So weapon leveling is a plus to having a multiplayer mode within the Warzone mobile package. And of course, finally, you've got your squad training. You know, if you play with certain people all the time, it's a lot better to get to know who you're playing with in a multiplayer match than it is in a full battle royale where anything can happen. You know, this guy likes SMGs, but we can't find a friggin' SMG from during this match. But we can jump in multiplayer and see what he's like. We can trial him for our team. Stuff like that. That'll be very good to have in the game. However, I'm also going to go through some of the things that could mean a bad thing if they were to do this. And I think the most obvious thing is the game size. Now, I think Warzone itself, on the PlayStation at least, the that I'm aware of, it's like 20 gigabytes, and then Modern Warfare is that again, or maybe it's bigger, and it's a massive game altogether. Now, if you've got a, a an old device, or you know, a low spec device, you haven't got much storage on, you're not going to be able to install the game, because it'll be too big. So, that's one of the things why I think they're not going to add a multiplayer mode. We've also got the fact that it'll split the player base, you'll have BR players, and you'll have MP players, like you do on COD, Mobile, some people play both, granted, but you might see longer queue times because most people are playing the team deathmatch or whatever, trying to level up their guns. And something that I see a lot of streamers complain about, specifically Warzone streamers, 
is broken guns from multiplayer. So you have sp specific blueprints for guns that are tailored to multiplayer that are then brought into Warzone, and it just makes it absolutely ridiculous. Now, this last one, guys, is more of a personal preference. You'll have two layouts. You'll have two HUD displays. You'll have to set one for multiplayer and one for Battle Royale. I hate doing this. Absolutely hate it, because that's always slightly different, especially if you think Call of Duty Mobile. You know, you're going to have a Battle Royale one and a multiplayer one, and I just hate setting two. But anyway, guys, I would love to know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you think there's going to be a multiplayer mode in Warzone Mobile? I myself don't think there will be. I don't think they're going to risk the game size, you know, locking out the lower spec phones, because that's a lot of the player base gone on day one if they do it. But I'd love to know your comments down below, as usual. Do you think it's going to be pure BR or both? Write a little comment, let us know. You can also find us on Discord. And I've started posting on Instagram quite a bit, so you can find some of my posts on there. But make sure you have liked the video if you did enjoy it, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video coming very soon. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.